GeForce Now on Linux. Now, uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the specs of my machine. And as you can see with this uh, Pentium with Intel Integrated Graphics is what I got here. And uh, I'm running a 1024 by 576 screen. And I'll get to why in a moment. So I just wanted to... Uh, and then, of course, I've set my screen to 1024 by 576. And I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll get to that in just a second. Um, so let's first off, um, speedtest.net. So we can see what I'm dealing with here. Just hit go. 19 milliseconds ping. That's pretty good. It's usually around 21. So 8 megabits a second download speed. And 2 megabits per second upload speed, exactly what I'm paying for. So, so uh, I was looking on NVIDIA's site, and they say uh, for 720p streaming, gaming, they want you to have a 25 megabits per second um, internet speed. Well, I don't got that. I got this, and I did try it at 20. I did try it at 1280 by 720 on my screen, and uh, it gives me the uh, spotty internet warning, and it uh, it's not it's not terrible, but you can tell it's not the internet quite isn't quite good enough for that. But with my screen set to 1024 by 576. Um, it's working just fine. Now, I don't know if you still have to spoof, if you ha still have to spoof Chrome or Chromium. I've seen reports on the internet that you don't have to spoof Chrome or Chromium anymore, but just in case you do, I use the instructions on this, uh, on this page where you get the uh, install the agent switcher. Um, and I think it works on Chromium also, and then you paste this into that. And I'm not sure, but I'm I'm not sure about that now. As far and I'm just trying the free version here. So what this does for me is uh, I can't play this game on my computer, and these are games I own on Steam. Elite Dangerous I can't play on this machine. And uh, Black Mesa, I can't play on this machine. Um, the rest of these run on this machine oh, pretty good. So uh, that's like three games that I own on Steam that I can play now. And uh, that's what's nice about uh, another cool thing about GeForce Now is you don't buy the game for the uh, streaming game service. You're just renting a server from them. They're games you already own. And so we'll hit play. Now, between uh, the hours of like midnight and uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, um, I haven't had any wait time. And the wait time is uh, usually less than what they say here. Um, and of course, it's five dollars a month to not wait for the next available rig. And uh, but, like I said, this is just I'm checking out the free version. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video. And uh, 
come back when this is ready to go. Um, but uh, to me, it seems worth it to pay them five bucks a month to use uh, to use their server to play games on. That if your machine's not up to snuff, and it's like all of a sudden, if the game's on Stadia, your two three hundred dollar rap- laptop or Chromebook or whatever, oh, so see, it didn't make me wait twenty six minutes. It's already I didn't pause the video or nothing. It's already it's already coming up now. Up. Oh. And like I said, I own this game on Steam, so you don't have to uh, buy the game over again. And I'm just going to show you here in options that as far as the game is concerned, the game itself is running at 1280 by 720. I'm just having it cast to a 1024 by 576 screen. And that makes my internet good enough to do this. And then something else that came up, um, my saved games were intact because one of the other things, you're limited to one hour sessions with the free, with the free version lining up for free. And, uh, but I'm not noticing any lag in the controls. I've already got through this, but, uh, Um, and it plays great and looks great and like I said this machine wouldn't run this game and uh, basically all that's required on the Linux side is uh, can I fast travel from here? Nope, they're not going to let me fast travel alright I probably should have But oh, I can't remember what I had to do here. Oh, I gotta come over here. That's right. But I, w I wasn't expecting my internet to be good enough for this and I was expecting my controller lab hit the wrong key. find out how terrible I am at first person shooter style games here in a second. Uh-oh. But the controls are nice and responsive. Yikes. Oops. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> that was that was all me. That wasn't inter -lag, internet lag or anything like that.
Yikes. <laughs> anyway. What? I'm still alive? How's this happening? Well, it is acting funny now, but... Alright. Okay, it's back to normal. Whoa. So, let's just go ahead. Seems all, seems good to me. Yep, go ahead and quit the game. So that's just a demonstration on uh, GeForce Now on Linux with not the greatest internet connection. Thanks for watching. Until next time.